Okay, so I'm a little grubby. I was out about four, four and a half hours today, and I found a new place. Uh, they tore out a street in a town near me, and this t town is from the early or late 1800s, and this street was the oldest street in that town. Um, I got there after a month or two after they had already put in some sidewalks, some curbs, they had already put in eight to 10 inches of gravel. All I have left is the tree line between the curb of the street and the sidewalks and it's all tilled up it's all um, loose so i can just basically stick my fingers in i don't have to dig any plugs because they're going to come along and they're going to smooth it out and they're going to sod it so i don't have to do i mean i fill in the holes but um, i'm talking to a lot of neighbors i got kicked out of one guy's even though it's not his yard so i said well i've got a whole mile here so i said have at it yourself whatever i had a good talk with him um, but i've had my best four hours of hunting yet and I will show you in this video. Okay so I did not show any of the digging because people were already coming out lining up to watch me dig and I didn't want to video everything that I thought was cool because I thought the people would want them. Um, obviously you're gonna find junk all of, all of the pull tabs I kept out of the video uh, all of the aluminum cans I kept out of the video this was just copper I always think copper is cool um, this chain is cool if anybody knows what that is it might be a, like a ball bearing but that would be huge ball bearing and it is heavy um, I found some cool keys the tag says American Veterans Disabled Union um, Disabled Americans Veterans um, I'll try and see what the rest of that says but I think it's semi-old, it's really cruddy. Um, square nail from when they were doing barns back in the early 1900s. Um, found a lot of dimes and pennies that are regular, but here we go. Um, this is a copper chunk, which I'm just gonna keep because I like copper again. Um, kids toy, I always keep those, keep those in a box. Um, I keep my bullets or I guess the shells of the bullets. This is a shotgun. I thought this was a bullet, but it is not. Um, some regular quarters, but here's where it gets good. I found a pile of wheat pennies and they are a 46D, a 41D, um, a 44S, a 44 straight, a 53D, a 41D, a 42 straight, a 25 straight is my best one, and then a 36 straight. So lots of copper, I mean lots of uh, wheat pennies, um, and it just keeps getting better. Then I found a Japanese or Chinese coin. I have to look up the symbols. They're kind of worn, but it is an Asian coin of some sort. And then I found three regular nickels, and then it gets into my war nickel, which is a 1945D, which is silver. Then I get into a buffalo nickel, which is a 1927, which is so cool. So my third buffalo nickel. Then here's something I've never found before is my Liberty nickel, which is 1889. You have to look really closely. I've got, you know, with the uh, kids sight and, um, bright lights but that's my oldest nickel I've ever found and I love it and last but not least I found a <clears throat> 1944 let's see it's this one this found this one first 1944 that's my second best dime I've ever found I've never found three silver dimes in one day um, this one was right on the surface I almost didn't even have to dig for it I saw the edge sticking out that was so awesome that's a 64 and then D, uh, this one's a 44D, and then this one is a 41S. This was one of my last finds. So all in all, oh, and then I forgot to talk about the revolver. Um, I found a pellet gun about two miles from here, and it won me a contest of the weirdest find at um, our group. And this one's probably going to find me the coolest find at our group again, but this one is a true uh, revolver this time, not a pellet gun. So those are my finds. Keep swinging out there. And like I said, I would have showed you the dig sites, but I had too many onlookers. 
So I'm going to show you an, an example of where to dig for these kind of things. I'm in a really old town and I just found an Indian head penny. This is going to go along with my video that I um, filmed last night. I wasn't going to show the dig site because there's too many people around here. There's not that many people. Um, but I did find an Indian head penny. Um, I can't read the date and I don't want to clean it off here on site. It's 1907 or 1917 or something. I almost didn't dig it because it was such a mess of other signals too, but I'm so glad that I did. Um, um, as you can see behind me, they are putting in a new street. So before they put in the sod and the trees and the sidewalk, I'm trying to find what I can. Um, so I will show you what I found and I just found another find. Um, I thought it was going to be like a silver half dollar, um, silver dollar, something like that on my bucket list. It is not, but I'll show you what it's ringing up as. Okay, so so far, I think this is a Indian head penny. Uh, I don't want to wash it off without till I get home. This is an Indian head penny, regular dime, buffalo nickel, a wheat penny, and a regular nickel from 49. And then this was just ringing up um, 88 and 90, um, which is always silver for me. And when you see it shiny like that, and it tings a little bit, 1954 silver quarter. I am so excited. I wish it was my bucket list of um, a half dollar or a standing liberty or a walking liberty, what they call those, um, but I will take this.